partying. Yeah. We're we're professionals at partying. I know a lot of people ain't gonna want to hear, but the truth hurt. Like we're professionals at partying. We're professionals at, you know, and I'm black. I'm a black American. Like too much blood been shed for me to separate myself from America because it's too much blood been shed. My people shed too much blood on this land. So I'm a motherfucking American. I'm a black American. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, speaking for black Americans, people who born and raised here, it just seemed like, you know, we just so out of touch. Like, even though our parents, they was like, they was, you know, captivated by drugs and the fast life. And we did too. We did the same thing. But our parents, they was more connected with their history. You know what I'm saying? Because they knew like 20 years, like, a lot of our parents was born in the sixties, so it was it was still that 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 element was still there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even as kids when they was growing up, their parents was letting them know, yeah. even though, you know, however it played out, I just don't think that in this time that we living in the twenty twenty and the two thousands, man, that we taking, you know, uh as black people as a whole, that we taking our condition in America, we are not taking it serious. We think that we better off than we was before, but we worse. Yeah. And we don't understand that, you know what I'm saying? Because of lack of unity. And yeah, we can say we can pull together. We only good for coming together when it's time to party, yeah. when it's time to funeral, when it's time to march, yeah. when it's time to pray. Yeah. We need to come together and build. We yeah. need to come together and talk about something other than bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, I just don't deal with like-minded individuals. I mean, a brother was talking the other day and he was telling his wife, like, listen, baby, you hang around no good ass bitches, you want, it's, it's going to rub off on you. You know what I'm saying? Maybe not their way, but, you know, they make it seem, and it's the same thing with dudes. Mm -hmm. You hang around dudes that ain't about shit, they ain't trying to be shit, they ain't trying to do shit, you're going to become it. That's you know right. what I'm saying? And it's like, we don't want to come together for nothing more than those things we just said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When the Chinese people come here, they come together to build. When the Mexican people come here, they come here to build. They don't come here to vote. They don't come here to cry about not getting jobs and no. shit. They don't come here for that. They come here to build yep. together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And we just so far disconnected from that. You know, we've been out here for some years now, babe. We ain't been out here like a lot of brothers and sisters trying to make it. We had some ups and downs or whatever, mm -hmm. but we making a conscious effort too. And I get more frowns from my own people i get more now don't get me wrong i get a lot of love i get a lot of people that support my people our people mm -hmm. but i get more friends than i get support mm -hmm. but they ain't gonna stop us but at the same time i i get it from the the people that i least expect from my own fucking people right. you know what i'm saying because we don't have any cohesiveness you know well we don't have a code of conduct that too. And, and see that's that's just it like like I said, all other ethnic groups, when they come to America, they they got an agenda. They don't give a fuck about voting. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. They come in here for land, wealth. They come here to build. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They ain't coming here to be friends with you or yeah. intermingle with, with you. you. If it happened, it happened. But, not, but they ain't coming here for that. That's not their focus. Yeah. Exactly. Our focus is we always want to intermingle yeah. sexually. We want to be all inclusive and shit and that's not what we should be always on. No. Ain't nothing wrong with that, no. but it's just it just seems like and it's just for me. Like this from what I see, anytime you say something about black people doing something, it's a problem. Anytime like when it's a well, damn the Mexican people got a store Damn, the Mexican store be jamming. Mm -hmm. Damn, uh, uh, the Zeros, the Italian people, man, they got some good ass subs. <laughs> oh, damn, they got a new taco. What's that? Burrito company shit. Mm -hmm. That shit good as a. Ain't nobody talking about that. Now, you might have one or two soul food restaurants around. Right. But 
everything else. Damn, the Chinese restaurant and this. But you can't put black restaurant in front of nothing. No. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? No. That, that shit won't get no support. Yeah. But you can put Italian. You can put Greek. Chinese, you can put Chinese. Yeah. You can put this. You can put Caribbean. You can put all of that shit. But as soon as you put black, that shit will, will go down. Yeah. That's a yeah. problem for that us, is. man. And we need to change that mind frame, yo. We need to change that. And, and the reason why that happened is because I feel like in our era, I can't speak for a time that I wasn't living in. Right. But I just feel like for our people, man, we have been so brainwashed with this mindset that we have to be with everybody. Mm -hmm. And everybody else that come here, they don't give a fuck about being with us. Everybody, they, yeah. ca they care about being with them and yeah. doing them. That's it. And that's our problem. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We too busy trying to frown on each other. I'm stunting on these niggas. I'm stunting on these bitches. You too busy trying to stunt on each other. Mm -hmm. Them people ain't thinking about us. Nope. But on the real, they stunting on us, yeah, yo. Yeah. They stunting on us, man. It's something that we built. Yeah, you know exactly. I mean? They reaping the benefits of what we built because of our lack of being, having a code of conduct. We don't have a code, man. You know? Yeah. And as far as, you know, like I always, like we always tell our children, like, you know, we, you know, we realize over time that you're going to have a tug of war with outside influences with children. Period. Outside influence is going to pull your kids hard as shit. All, the, all of the YouTube videos with the young niggas walking around with money on their shoulders and, and shit. And guns in the camera. And guns in the camera and gang gang shit. That, that type of influence, because it's more exciting, it's more exciting than reading a book or wanting to read a contract. That they just they they rather shoot the video and do the rapper and don't give a f and they just want to stack some money. Fuck reading care that contract. What's in the contract. Exactly. They can take the money. But see, that's what I'm saying. Just like they put all of that shit, the guns and the gang gang and the money shit, all up there. That shit get hundreds of millions of views. Ain't nobody talking about what's going on behind the scenes with the contracts and the money and shit and how it's getting broke down. And how you're only getting the lesser of the money. And see, that's why I feel like... Capitalizing off of it. Yep, yeah, and that's why I feel like we as a black people in America, we need to understand who we dealing with and what we dealing with. Because we, we consistently end up on the labor end of this shit. Consistently, the the black labor white well, we always end up on a labor end because that's how we have a labor mentality. And until we get out of that, we'll forever be on the lesser end. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, you know, this ain't for nobody. This is not for a person who feel like they at a they they at a place in their life. Where they can't listen to somebody. They, this is not for a person who who feel like they got it all figured out. This this is not for a person who uh, who 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 got it all figured out. You know, because a person that think they got it all figured out, you probably don't want to be around that person. Mm -hmm. You know, because they ain't willing to learn or listen. No, you're supposed to learn from the crowd. They ain't willing great. to learn or listen. Right. You know, and. We definitely ain't got it all figured out, but if I could give uh, some words of wisdom to any young brothers, any young sisters, any brothers and sisters my age, uh, any any brothers and sisters that's older than me, anybody out there that's listening, if I can give you any insight on a mentality or a way to just look at other things in, in a whole nother spectrum. That's what I'm here for. That's what that's what I'm opening my mind to. The the person that's gonna listen and be open minded to saying, you know what? Damn man, I'm 30 years old, man. I'm tired of sagging my pants, man. I got kids. You know what I mean? I got responsibilities. I got I, I see myself doing other things than just doing this shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And and to that person that's listening, I'm gonna keep it a, a, a buck with you. I smoke weed too. You know what I'm saying? But that don't mean that, you know, 
I'm going to judge you or you should judge me because that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? And to that person who want to judge somebody or think because that's what they do that you, they are not worthy of listening to because they smoke. I don't listen to no nigga who sit around and smoke weed all day. Nah, I, I agree with that person. Don't listen to that person. But don't judge that person. You know what mm -hmm, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and, and understand, you know, at the end of the day, man, it's not about what you're seeing in front of you. It's what you can see beyond what's in front of you. 